Hi, this is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts, and I am back to do a little bit of wax melting. Um, I'm making some little things to go on my Edith Holden, so I'm just playing around. Um, here I just sealed a hydrangea flower in some wax and put it on this little card. And don't forget, you're welcome to be at my channel, and I am so glad to have you here, and I want you to know how much I appreciate that you've come by and 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 stopped to see me and see what I'm up to. So I'm just going to pour my wax into this little silicone plate. I've mixed two colors here, a green and kind of a turquoise. And I want to use this feather. I used a feather here. I'm going to use one again. I'll move that one so it'll probably go wonky. <clears throat> and the way that I've done these um, little flowers this one shows up really well um, as a backwards one. It has a, the feather here with the flower under it. They show up a lot better on the base. So, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm using too much wax. Um, we have a little bit of green and blue left in there. Let's go ahead and throw in two of the clear. And let those melt. got to be careful. I don't want to start a fire in here. That's why I don't usually bring candles in here because I, I scare myself. <clears throat> okay, so let's put a flower in there. Here's one. Right here. <clears throat> and I just kind of want it to be clear and I don't know. I'm uh, thinking about not stamping this one. Just using the bottom of the piece to kind of move that wax around because the bottom's nice and hot. Got to wipe it off before you put it back in there. Here's a bee. Let's put a bee on it. I can see it's not going to be see-through anyway. Okay, so we have this one. And the one thing that I've found is that they mush out quite a bit. So what I do is I go around the edge. I save this wax. Can throw it right back in there if we want. melts right down and then even though that's melting over there I'm going to just take this and use it to smooth around the edges heat it up some more And I'm just smoothing them down a little bit so that you can't tell that I used a pair of scissors on it. So 
So you actually get a pretty nice looking piece. But I do like the wax melting and filling around the edges. I think this for me needs to be a little bit smaller. Now that one's a bee with a flower in it. It's hard to tell, isn't it? So, but the feathers turned out really nice. So what if we just want to stamp on one of these? Let's just stamp right on one of these. And I guess we'll do the the leaf, huh? Which one's that? That's the bee. There's the... Well, I think it's a feather, actually. I do, I do. I think it's a feather. So let's go right down. Well, we need something under it first. What do we need? I'm in my little jar of goodies here. Oh, I know. I know, I know. Here we go. Excuse my reach. There we go. Let's put this at the top. I'm going to put a little bit under it. Just to hold it down. And now we're going to put this on the top. And smoosh it down. I clean the wax off the side of mine as I go so that it doesn't um, start melting down into the, the little candle area. This one, did I show you this one? One of the hydrangeas is in there. <coughs> Excuse me. So we gotta let that do its thing so let's make another one with a different color of oh let's make the bee with yellow oh let's do a mixture we've got a little green in there we've got a couple little yellows and a really a buttercream color let's try those i know they don't need to be that much wax in them look at that fuzzy on my hand. But, <clears throat> oh, I needed that. My brain. <laughs> Carol, when you find your brain, would you send mine home? I think it's out playing with your brain. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's find... That's a tree of life. That's always a good one. Let's, oh, this is going to be a bee, though. That's yellowish. Maybe we want it to... But it has the green, too. I should have brought in a Q-tip. I don't want to mix it. See, I have a heart... I have a rose, and let's see, oh, we have this compass, I love that one, and this one says, with love, and that's art, 
And that's Tree Life. That's always a good one. So, let's see. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? We have this one. I'm going to put that over there. This is going to be the B. So, let's see. I must have something yellow I can put down. I do. Ooh, maybe this. Going to put a little glue down here. Just like this. I'll add this little thing here just for fun. Let's add another one. Okay, now we're going to add our wax to it. This is going to go all over my table. <laughs> kind of looks like vomit right now. Uh oh, that's a mushy one. Too much wax. Let's see if I can get that up. It'll be hot, so be careful. Hotter than a glue gun. And it does melt your table, too. Your mat. Okay, let's come back to this one. Come on. There we go. Oh, that looks cool. So it's starting to smoke because I haven't melted any more wax. So anyway, really that's about all I wanted to show you. I've got to show you this one before it before we're done. So let's um let's do some more yellow. Just do two. Okay, there's the bee flying down into the flowers. And uh, we got some waxy stuff over there, so I don't know about that, but. That looks kind of goofy. I probably could melt some of that off, but I'm not going to worry about it. But I do want to open this back up and move it. We'll use it. Okay, one more. What are we going to do? Oh, the tree of life. Okay, so we have that one. Let's put it over there. Tree of life. Um, maybe we'll put it right in here somewhere, but let's make it in here. Now we can put these stickers in there. They're a very sticky sticker. Put the sticker side up. If it'll let you. <laughs> oh, 
Come on. Come on, this is not turning into a 40 minute video. I'm just trying to center it a little bit. Okay. Pouring that over the top of it. My grandkids love doing this. They had to be very well supervised, but they absolutely had a blast. I'm just going to let that sit there and remelt because I want it to. Um, I want to be able to clean it out. Okay, let's let that sit. There's another little hydrangea. I wanted it to sit so that I could clean it out. Of course, my granddaughter, she was quite brave with this whole process and <laughs> kept us on our toes, that's for sure. So I'm just leaving it there to melt what's in there so I can clean it out. So next time I start, I don't have to start with the same colors. And I just bought mine on Amazon. Um, you can go check out um, Shannon at Mixed Media Ouch, Minnesota. And she does, um, she gets them from, I think it's Caspire. I'm not sure, but I would love to go and purchase some there because they have so many wonderful ones. This gets very hot. All does. Okay, let's take a look. Now this has a sticker on it that I can peel off. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah, I was using way too much wax on the other ones. So, um, you just peel this off. <laughs> okay, make a liar out of me. It's not easy. So, there's your sticker right on there. And then, you can go inside your Edith Holden journal. You can say, where does this belong? Well, I think it belongs on the letter, don't you? We'll put it up here. Right up here. So even though it has, it's very sticky on the back, super, super sticky. But I'm still going to put glue on it. Then I'm going to put my tree of life up there. And press it down. And hope it sticks. So there we go. There's that one. I'm going to, going to leave that open to dry. And here's the bee. This is on the little story um this is on this one that we put the big flower in and i just stabbed my elbow then this is the one about the little mouse story and this one is a tag so we'll have to round the edges and all that good stuff. And this one, it turned out pretty good. It's a little hard to see through, but I think had I have, um, just used two wax melts, then it would be better. 
I've been using three and um, I think three is just too many. So there we go. Um, oh, here was a few others. This is the upside down one. Now it shows through really well upside down and not as well that way. And another feather. And another bee that didn't go so well. Didn't go so well, so he'll get remelted. It's real easy. You just toss them back in where you want and, and remelt them. This bee turned out really good. Look how defined he is. Very neat. And then they also they send um, with their kit some... Um, I think it's, I don't think it's glitter, is it? I'm not sure if it's glitter or if it's a rub on gold. And they sent, sent these metallic pens. So you could go over your B with your metallic pen. And, uh, I don't know. I'm wondering if this is glitter. You know, I'd probably spill it all over. If it is. I don't really know. I was surprised it was in there. I think it might be glitter. Yeah, it's glitter. Pretty. Oh gosh, now there's going to be glitter for a lifetime in here. Not my favorite thing. Um, anyway. Gold pen will work, <laughs> maybe. And you can go in and just highlight your bee rather quickly. And there's a silver one, but I don't want to cover color my guy silver because he is a bee. Anyway, wax melts for the Edith Holden ephemera. Very cool. I waited a long time before I bought these. I, um, I've, I've had them about a year, but and we've played with them quite a bit. My granddaughter and grandson and daughter and I. But um, I just always forget that I have them. Look at this. There's glitter all over. Okay, well, thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this little excursion into wax land. And we'll probably put this one in the journal somewhere, too. Always need a bee. All right, thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time on Dogwood Paper Arts. Come on back. Bye.